fine. I'm at the livestock auction where horses are going to be sold to the highest bidder tonight. And something big just flew over. Yep. Helicopter just flew over. Anyway, at the auction right now, and there's a lot of draft horses. And that's never a good thing because it's getting towards the, you know, not the end of summer yet, but it's starting to wind down summer. And I feel like probably some Amish use these draft horses to plow one last spring, you know, maybe do some harvesting and then they're dumping them at auction. And unfortunately, it seems like when we rescue draft horses, especially at auction, that they're not in very good condition. Because if they're in good condition, they're worth a lot of money, like $5,000, $10,000 for a team. Like, they're worth a lot of money. They're worth a whole lot more than slaughter price. So when they do come to auction, it's just very unfortunate that it seems like most of the time, there's nothing we can do but say goodbye with love and compassion. And uh, yeah, so we're at the auction. There's a lot of draft horses again for anybody that's just joining me. And we're going to save every horse that we can tonight. There's also, unfortunately, a lot of skinny horses, like emaciated horses. So that's also very sad. There's, there's green grass everywhere. Like if you look outside, it's literally green everywhere. Why would a horse be skinny in Tennessee when there's green grass everywhere? It's because the owners don't care. You know, round bale of hay, you can get it for like sixty, seventy dollars for a thousand pounds, and uh, no excuse for a skinny horse, especially in the middle of summer. So, gonna save as many horses as we can. Our goal is about twenty. So, we're we gonna save half the horses tonight. I don't know for sure, but I sure would like to, and uh, especially, especially going to ask you guys for help tonight. I'm hoping that you'll click that link at the bottom and uh, just donate. That's uh, Shelter Love, and. It makes it super easy to donate on both a phone, on a computer. It's totally secure. It's done by one of the uh, major credit card processors. And uh, that money is going to be going to save horses tonight. So we need your help for sure. There's, again, about 40 horses. Hello, Karen down in Australia. Susie, hi, hello. Um, hello, Laura. Much love. Thank you so much. Love you, too. And Cheryl, um, thank you. Polly, thank you for your $50 donation. Super appreciate that. Peter, hello over there in the United Kingdom. Thank you guys for joining me this evening. We're going to save some horses tonight. And I wish I could show you the horses, but they don't want cameras back there before the auction. Once we own the horses, they're fine with us um, taking pictures of them and stuff, but they don't want us running around with cameras back there. And it's really bad cell service inside the barn. So just uh, super excited to be here at the auction, saving lives. I've been on the road a lot recently. We've gone, <laughs> it seems like all over. Um, mentoring other organizations and filming for Horse Rescue Heroes. There's some there's some very strong contenders for the for the big grant, and uh, it's going to be a hard decision. I can tell you that. Um, please rescue a lot of uh, draft horses. Definitely planning on it. Um, I'd like to get every draft horse because when they're big, but they're broken, there's only one person who wants that horse, other than the rescuers. Jane, thank you so much for fifty dollars. Sarah, thank you for twenty dollars. Super appreciate y'all's support. And uh, if we raised $1,000 on here, we'd be able to rescue one more horse. So hopefully, hopefully we can. And uh, Karen, there's a link in the description, or you can also donate on YouTube. Um, hopefully somebody who is donating and knows how that works can uh, maybe put in the comments how to donate on the YouTube app. Um, but yeah, we are, uh, we're here at the auction. We're saving lives. You guys are the absolutely best, just the best supporters and fans. Um, West Virginia, awesome. Uh, Madison, I was actually in West Virginia at Pipestem State Park over the weekend. Stopped there on the way back from, uh, well, I am not. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you where we were <laughs> mentoring an organization, but it was uh, past Pipestem from uh, Tennessee. So we stopped at Pipestem on the way back. And uh, yeah, West Virginia is a beautiful state, although it's a little bit hilly. Shelly, thank you so much for your $5 donation. And yeah, you guys, please hit the thumbs up too, because that really super helps a lot. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, the truck is a little different, and I have a gooseneck. Horse Plus, thanks to our absolutely amazing fans, was able to get another rescue rig, because as you know, uh, if you follow our videos at all, Big Red is dead. It's kaput. It's died. Nobody can seem to figure out what's wrong with it. And we needed another truck that could pull the gooseneck. 
So here we are, we're in a uh, beautiful truck. It's not brand new, but it's new to us. So it's gonna be hauling a lot of horses over the years. And uh, what is the process for YouTube donations? Um, you click the, uh, I, don't even, I don't think what it looks like on my screen is anything what it looks like on yours. But if I'm not mistaken, there's a couple hands, kind of looks like the hands are folded together. You click on those and you can donate. So. Let me um, just go back over really quick what we're looking at at the auction tonight. There's about 40 horses, probably 50 by now because they keep coming in. And there's a, quite a number of draft horses. Not exactly sure how many, but last count was about six. And uh, only in Tennessee, I'm, I'm looking out my window and uh, they sell everything at this auction outside in the parking lot. And uh, just to give you kind of a, a a little culture shock. These two gentlemen walked up to their truck just uh, just on the other side of me. And one of them was carrying a great big long gun, looked like maybe a, a shotgun. And uh, he's putting it in his truck. He's going to lock it up. And the other guy got out a pistol and is walking around with a pistol. And it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a culture shock when you first come to a place like Tennessee where guns are everywhere. But that's not the point of why we're here. We are here to save horses. There's about 40, probably going on 50 now. A bunch of draft horses we're hoping to save every draft horse we can. And unfortunately, there's also a lot of skinny horses. So it's not gonna be a happy auction rescue, but we absolutely um, knew here, how do you decide what to buy? So Julie, we, we wanna rescue every horse in the slaughter price range, which last I checked, it was up to about 50, 55 cents a pound. So, you know, a, a 800 pound, you know, smaller horse would be $400 approximately 450 and then a draft horse if it's like 1200 pounds is going to be somewhere around 600 dollars so or even a little more so we try to rescue just every horse that we possibly can in the slaughter price range so that's what we're doing tonight thank you guys so much for joining me thank you we raised 123 dollars and 39 cents and i want to thank each and every one of you so if you don't mind head on over to horseplus.org and hit the donate button or Click the, uh, yeah, Shelly, that would be awesome. You got your tax return, your refund. So uh, that would be awesome if you could donate. Sure to appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much. Tawny is actually the one chatting as Horse Plus Humane Society, I'm not mistaken. And uh, I am the lead auctioneer tonight. So hello, Ferry. And uh, I'm hopping off 40 horses, probably 50 by now. A lot of drafts, a lot of skinnies. We're going to save who we can. It's not going to be a happy auction rescue, I don't think but we're going to save everybody we can and just, you know, do what we can. So thank you guys so much. Love every single one of you.